Hey, welcome back, Gary Brown Forging On. And I wanna to talk to you today, it's not about forging or blacksmithing, but I wanna to talk to you about um, <clears throat> the United States Post Office informed delivery process system, which a lot of you may know about. I didn't know about it. I found out about it by accident. In the United States, I don't know if this, they have anything like this in other countries, but in the United States, there is a, uh, the United States Post Office if you go to their website, uh, you can find right on there, it'll say informed delivery. And I thought I was, I signed up for it, it's free. And I thought I was signing up for, you know, just if if a package was coming, kind of like a UPS tracking where I'd get text or something. I, I didn't know what I was signing up for really, but it was free and I just signed up. And then I found out, I put in my normal, my like personal um, email, oh, well, one of my, 10 or 15 personal emails. Sorry, need a drink. <clears throat> I put in my personal email and my cell phone number and my address here at my house. And next thing I know, I get an email the next day and it actually has a photo of the face of each piece of mail I'm getting in the mail that, that day. It shows up at, you know, four, five, six in the morning. I don't know what time it is. I guess when it processes at the main branch, it, it takes pictures of it. And I get these pictures and it shows me who it's from. You know, just it's, a, it's just a picture of the front of the, envelope, of the envelope. And if there's any packages that UPS, or not UPS, the USPS, United States Postal System, if anything they're shipping to me, there'll be a link to it below that of packages. They don't have pictures or anything for the packages, but for the envelopes they do. Now sometimes you'll see something that says we couldn't we don't have a picture of this one. But it, but you know you're gonna have and sometimes it's just junk mail and so I will just won't even bother going to the mailbox or something. But but you know what's in the mailbox gonna be coming that day. So now this is the part I wanted to get to is I have a P.O. box uh, for my YouTube channel and anything else I want that I don't want to use my home address for. And so, you know, and I was having to go down every so often and just physically check my PO box. Well, it turns out and I went online and I thought maybe I'm under my account, I could put two addresses. And I think they're working on that, but they are not there yet. And so they said you had to put in a different email and I believe I had to put in a different phone number. Now I've got a Google Voice phone number that then points to my cell phone. So I use that phone number and then I used my hillsideviewforge at gmail.com, which is my, my uh, shop, e you know, YouTube and all that uh, email. And I used that for the P.O. box. And it was, it was a little harder set up for some reason. I had to get a confirmation number mailed to me at the P.O. Box. So then when I got that in three or four or five days, um, I went in and, uh, and then used that number and I set it up. I don't really know why I had to go through that because I didn't have to go through that with my home one. But, uh, but I ended up getting a hold of, I had to get a hold of their tech support. And they kind of, and just told them, hey, I've got, I've got these different usernames set up, and every time I set up a username, something was going wrong. So maybe I worked out the glitches they had. I don't know, but uh, but it kept you know like not setting me up, but keeping my username, and I couldn't log back in because it's like it wasn't completely set up yet. But my username I picked was lost, and so I had to make another one. I made another one. Finally, after three of them, I I emailed the tech support, and I'm a computer programmer, so I'm just like, look, I'm in there three times. Here's my three usernames. Uh, you know, you can get rid of two of them, just keep the one if you don't mind, and then, you know, get me set up to where I can use it. They took care of it, and now I'm getting them. So I don't have to go down and just physically drive to the post office every day or every week or whatever, because when, when there is no mail, you get you do not get an, uh, an email. So you'll get, you know, you'll look out there, there's no email. All of a sudden, boom, you have an email and have pictures, and you know, hey, i got to make a trip to the post office. And I don't have very much mail yet because I just set this thing up. And so, uh, so I'm, you know, I, now I can, you know, wait. If I don't get a piece of mail for a week or two, I don't have to go just physically check the mailbox. Anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd mention that. If you have, if you're like me and you have, if you just want to do it for your home, that's fine. If, if you have a P.O. box and you don't want to just drive and check it, just use that address, create a new username, you know, a different email account, 
like your shop email or whatever, your YouTube email account, whatever you have, and use a different cell phone or something, you know, maybe your spouse's or, or do like if you got a Google Voice number like I do, just set that up, use that, use a different, you know, just a whole different account like a different person, like you're living there. And you can then get just an email and, just, and you'll never have to make that trip down there unless, you know, you get something showing you have it. And then, you, like I said, you don't get any email when there's nothing coming your way. So I hope that was helpful. Maybe <laughs> a little bit. Hopefully I didn't make this too confusing. My camera keeps quitting on me right in the middle of a sentence. It's like it keeps starting over, so it's maybe a little jumbled up. But I just thought I'd send that out to you. I thought it was a neat thing. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.